Okay, thank you for watching this YouTube clip. So what I'm going to demo is using Audacity, which is a open source free music recording application, to actually split up an MP3 file or any type of music file. Now you might ask, why would you want to do this? Well, one reason is, let's say you're recording a live performance whether it be a live band, a marching band, a play, whatever. Normally, in the length of that recording session, there are distinct tracks, like maybe the first song, the second song, and then between those songs, there's always pauses. Well, the way these recorders, like these Tascam handheld recorders, the way they normally record is it just records one big long MP3, unless you push a button during each song. Well, sometimes you just want to let the recorder set and go. And as a result, what you're left with is one long MP3 file of all these different songs, including the spacing or the talking between the songs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo. I have a song that is similar to a live recording and it is going to be three distinct songs. So if you look at this waveform, you could see over here on the left, here's the first song. It's about two and a half minutes long. And then there's a second song here. And then there's a third song. So this would be one long live recording of an entire night. Now what I want to do is I want to break this up into three separate tracks. Track one, track two, and track three. So how do you do it? So the first thing you do is I like to zoom in. So in Audacity, there's a button up here in the toolbar called Zoom In. And I like to zoom in so I could get a little closer to see the waveform, okay? So now we're at zero, so this is the start of the song. And I'm gonna put my cursor always at the beginning. So the best way to do that is click where you want your cursor with the mouse. And then I'm gonna hit the Command B button. And what this is going to do is this is going to add a label. So as you can see, it opened up a track underneath called a label track. And I'm going to type in the name of this song. So we're going to call this one track one right now. So what that does is that puts a label at 0.0. .0. So now I'm going to scroll through. Here's my first song. Here's my first song. Um, and then there's some point here where the song ends. Okay. So here's where the song ends. So as you can see, the first song ends, and now this is either noise or it's talking or it's something like that. So now what I want to do is I want to cut out this dead space because I don't really want this at the end of the first track. Um, I want to just end the first song, delete this dead space, and then start my second song. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find where the first song ends. So this is a good approximation and I'm going to go to where the next song begins. Highlight it, so you click on the first part, hold down the mouse, drag, and then go to the end of that. And then you hit this simple delete key. And now what this does is that deletes all that dead space. And now that our cursor is there, we are at the beginning of the next song. So now we can hit the control B again, and that's going to add another label. So we're going to call this track two. And then we're going to do the same exact thing at the start of the next song. So where would that be as we move through? Somewhere. Here we go. So this is the start of the third song. So same thing. I'm going to put my cursor where I want to cut out the dead space, drag over to the start of the next song, hit delete, and then basically delete that. And then I hit the control B button, and then add the name for that song. So now if I go back up to the toolbar and zoom out, you're going to see my entire recording. Here's the entire waveform, right? And you're going to see my three tracks which I labeled. Track one, track two, and track three. So that's awesome. So now we just split up. Well, we didn't split it up yet. We just put a label on where we want to put the splits. So the next thing we want to do is because this is an MP3 file, we would like to basically um, maybe make information and fill out some of the tags on this track, like who is the artist, what day was it recorded, things like that. So under Audacity, the way you do that is you go under, um, it actually changed recently, hold on.
Okay, now this is kind of embarrassing because I can't find where it is. Oh, here we go. Sorry. It's under edit and then metadata data. So this is the latest version of Audacity. And this is telling us you, you go under edit and you go to metadata. So what this is, is this is going to add a tag. Okay. So we could add the information called my favorite band. We could say skip track title for now. The album title is live recording from Chicago 1 2018. Skip the track number, hit the year. This would be 2018. The genre is polka music. So if we do that, now what this is going to do is this is going to save these tags in the MP3 file. Okay. Now what we do is when we're done with this, we set the tracks, we deleted our dead space, we added the metadata by going up to edit metadata. Now we're going to export it. So now we could go in, you go up to file, you do export and you say export multiple. Okay. So you scroll down here and you say export multiple. And what this is going to do is this is going to pop up with a file dialog. that's going to ask us, where do we want to save them? So I'm going to save them this directory. We're going to call this my band. And then we want it as an MP3 file. We want it as 256K. That's fine. And then down here, there's this thing here that says split files based on. And we're going to say split the files based on the late labels. So those are the labels that we already created. We want to split the files based on those labels. And then how are we going to name the files? And what we're going to do is we're going to number before label track name. And you'll see what happens. So then when we do that, we say export. And what this is going to do is this is going to create a directory. And now you're going to see it's going to ask us to basically edit each individual song. Well, the nice thing about it is we don't have to because we already set some of that metadata for each one. My favorite band, the name of the artist, the album title, the track number. It automatically adds the track number and it automatically adds the track title. It gets it from the label that we put down in that label track. So we click through. OK, here's a second track. OK, here's a third track. And then we say go. And now what this is doing is this is going to export all three of those files. So there's a first one. And then now we're exporting the second file. And then in a little bit, we're going to export the third file. And now we are done. So we select successfully exported the following three files. So I saved them in transfer, just transferred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my file browser and go to transfer, just transferred. And there's a directory here called my band. And if I click on my band, here's what we have all three of those files. Now, the nice thing about this is when you go through the files, so when I click on track one, if I scroll down here, it has the metadata in there called artist, my favorite band, album is live from Chicago, genre is polka music, the year is 2008. Now the nice thing about this is when I import these files into iTunes or any other music editor, it's going to automatically populate those fields and then it's going to be organized perfectly. So that was a quick tutorial on how you split apart large MP3 recordings, add the tracking, and then export them based on each track. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you.